So I mean, I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far. I find that with shows like this, I find sentimentality on screen can always go one of two ways. And I just wondered about what gave you encouragement and insurance that tonally this was going to be right. Was it? Is it from the script? Is it conversations with the director, the writers? Great question. Great point. I know, because I never want anything to be, feel too sentimental. I want it to feel grounded in reality. And, you know, for us, this show is really uh, dealing with grief. And so um, for me, it was very important to uphold a sense of humor throughout that. Because I think that, first of all, I think that's the reality. I think getting through grief, there has to be, you have to find laughter in the midst of it. And that's my personal experience is that I've found that in some of the darkest times. And so I think that was really important. And, you know, I, this is for me, this was a reunion of sorts with Jason Kadams, who I did Friday Night Lights with. And so um, I, I really trusted him with the material. And, and we talked a lot about wanting to make sure that we're never pushing for the sadness. We're never pushing for the tears. We're never pushing for the emotion. The, it exists because of what the characters are going through. And it, it, and as honest and as truthful as we can be as characters, that will help us stay out of the sentimental lane, I hope. No, no yeah, it definitely does. But I, I, I mean, I was wondering too, because it's a proper kind of ensemble uh, series, a bit, I mean, a little bit like sort of White Lotus in that regard. And there's so yeah. many characters make up this kind of story how is it being part of a show and being a key part of, of of a big cast is it quite can it be harder to leave a kind of indelible impact in a way when you're when you're part of something bigger if that makes sense I don't I don't ever really think about it that way I love working in an ensemble um because I love for me the interaction with the other characters and the way characters sort of um interplay throughout the story that's some of the greatest joy for me as an actor. And so, um, you know, I, I, I love, I, I come from the theater and that's, you know, that's really such a big part of being, you know, being in an ensemble is such a big part of that. And so, uh, I, for me, I, I, I just enjoy, it gives me so much. And, and in, in a way it's nice to not carry the weight of it on your shoulders but to feel like we're all in it together. I love the collaboration, you know. Yeah. And my final question, I was just wondering when you sign up to a new series, is this, do you have to kind of consider that it could be something that lasts quite a while, a commitment that could potentially last a few years? Is that is that something that goes through your mind when you sign up to projects like this? Or do you, do you, have, to, do you have to take it just series by series and just hope for the best? Well, I have sort of... <laughs> Um, most recently in the last few years, the things that I've signed on to do, I've done very specifically for one season, um, because I am also working on developing my own shows and series. And, um, but I also love to, I love the opportunity to be able to do great projects like Dear Edward and to work with people like Jason Kadams or White Lotus with Mike White, you know, and, and it's so wonderful to be able to do that. And, and so um, they've been very generous about saying, okay, you can do one season and then, you know, we'll see if there's a season two, let's see about it, you know? Yeah, but they were great decisions. I mean, you're on, you're on a roll at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit behind the rest of the world. I'm halfway through season one of White Lotus at the moment. It's just one. Oh, you got to <laughs> get on it. <laughs> no, no. But anyway, thank you so much. Best of luck with the release of the show. Is. Thank you. Nice to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.